Good morning. It's Monday and it's time for our daily devotion. Well, it's not just any Monday, it's Memorial Day. So I hope you have some time to relax with family and remember uh, uh, folks who have passed before us. Uh, we are this week aiming toward uh, Sunday morning looking at uh, the end of Acts chapter 2 uh, for a, a little bit uh, this summer, really, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of keep going through the book of Acts. That's where the lectionary had us. Uh, for for the last few weeks, and uh, I think we'll just we'll just kind of stick with that for a bit. Um, we'll be looking at where we see resurrection power, uh, Holy Spirit power. I mean those uh, interchangeably, really, uh, but saying them together like that, I hope, adds some depth to the meaning. Um, and today we're gonna we're gonna begin in, uh, in Acts chapter two verse fourteen when Peter stands up after hearing some in the crowd say of the disciples who were uh, who were praising God and had flames on their heads the Holy Spirit was moving and and some said wow they're just drunk and then this is where we start in chapter in verse fourteen of chapter two but Peter standing with the eleven raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days uh, it will be, God declares, that I will uh, pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall see dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents, portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh, the song today is God of Grace and God of Glory, a good old song from the early 1900s. It's uh, 716, 716, and voices together if, uh, if you have it. God of grace and God of glory, on thy people pour thy power. Crown thine ancient church's story, bring its bud to glorious flower. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the facing of this hour. For the facing of this hour. Lo, the hosts of evil round us scorn thy Christ, assail his ways. From the fears that long have bound us, free our hearts to faith and praise. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage for the living of these days. For the living of these days. <clears throat> Cure thy children's warring madness, bend our pride to thy control. Shame our wanton selfish gladness, rich in things and poor in soul. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, lest we miss thy kingdom's goal. Lest we miss thy kingdom's goal. Save us from weak resignation to the evils we deplore. Let the search for thy salvation be our glory evermore. Grant us wisdom, grant us courage, serving thee whom we adore, serving thee whom we adore.